Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of April 2022. I do hope you guys had a really great week. I am going to take just a quick second here to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. And if that is your situation, please check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate a little better. It's actually a really good idea to do so anyway. It gives you a more well-rounded picture. Um, be aware that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. And if you are interested in a private reading, the information can be found in the small box beneath this video. Let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Sagittarius? All right, Sagittarius, you are starting out with the Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Okay, so Sagittarius, I do feel like you're experiencing some kind of a loss here. Um, I, I feel like um, you may feel left out of a situation or some sort of loss and there's a sense of isolation about this as well. I do feel like uh, there will be communication. You are um, going to communicate about this with somebody. I feel like um, it'll be back and forth communication. And I do feel like um, you are going to either offer, um, if this is somebody that you, you have kind of left feeling iced out or feel they feel abandoned by you i feel like you'll offer an apology for that but if it's the other way around and it's you that's feeling kind of abandoned here i do feel like you're gonna like open the door to try to resolve that um because you do have feelings for this person let's see who this is that you are connected with show me who sagittarius is connecting with all right, we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse. And the Ace of Cups. Okay. So, yeah, something here is not has not worked out. Something got, it almost feels like a misunderstanding. There's something kind of muddied here. Um, so there was something that was unsuccessful. This person is definitely feeling unsuccessful here. Um, but I feel like the communication that you are going to give this person is going to kind of release that anxiety. They may have experienced a lot of anxiety or been upset about this um, in the past. But I think that that's going to be relief. Um, whatever is taking place here, that they're feeling so unsuccessful it it's not this is not turned out the way they wanted it okay they have they have feelings for you sagittarius with this ace of cups this is like a new beginning in love so i feel like you reaching out to this person is going to be helpful yeah there's something here about this situation they're feeling very unsuccessful and it's it's just not turned out the way they wanted it to um, yeah, they're not happy about it. It's, it's not what they're wishing for and hoping for. So you, it could have been you, Sagittarius. You could have kind of, um, been ignoring this person a little bit. Let's look at the energy of the connection. The world. You may be at a distance from this person. Um, you may not live close together. Uh, if that's not the case though, I do see this cycle that is going on between the two of you where there's a feel, someone is feeling left out or abandoned. Um, I feel like that cycle is ending. There's going to be a new cycle beginning. And I feel like it's going to emanate from contact I feel like you may initiate it Sagittarius and it's going to be back and forth though so there's a cycle that's ending between the two of you so a new cycle can begin if you live at a distance um, there could be some travel involved 
Let's look at uh, what's affecting this connection. The Queen of Cups. So there's love in this uh, connection. And I, I have to say, Sagittarius, the love in this connection, there it's multi-layered. There's the deep, slow love involved in this connection. Like there's a very deep, um, uh, what is it they say, still waters run deep. So there's like a deep, deep, very slow moving love in this connection. And then there's a surface type of love that's present here that moves much quicker, but it's built upon that deeper, slower moving emotion. But it's not really, it's not really presenting itself at this current time between the two of you. It's like someone doesn't feel free to um, express themselves. Let's see what the outcome is at the end of the week. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So this, there could be coming together at the end of the week. Um, if so, I feel like, I feel like um, it might even be just a discussion that the two of you may, um, you may be missing one another. There's a sense of loss here. Both of you experiencing a sense of loss. A sense of nostalgia is here as well. Hmm. Yeah. And again, it's built on that very slow emotion. Like something here has gone on not only slowly in this life, but through other lifetimes as well. Because this... This is deep. There is a very deep connection, very deep emotions that is affecting this, this connection here. So I feel like um, at the end of the week, both of you are going to feel very nostalgic. There's a, a sense of loss of something here, a loss and a nostalgia for each other which is going to soften both of you. It may lead to you making some sort of an offer or trying to um, reach out to this person. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Don't have to be. Um, but this is underlying energy. And what it tells me is that at the current state, even though you have all this emotion, this underlying emotion, um, the behavior is very different. The behavior is kind of um, very, I wouldn't say cold, it can be at times, but cool and very almost analytical. Um, it's very like world driven is what is coming to mind. I don't know why. It's just not it, it belies the depth of emotion that is truly in this connection. It's a very complex connection. So let's, um, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Eight of Wands here for Sagittarius? I feel like uh, some of you guys actually um, telepathically communicate with this person, maybe in sleep. It's like you, you put your wishes out into the universe. All right, so Six of Cups reversed and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this there's a progression that has happened here. So you've had to let this person go in the past. And I think you may have experienced some confusion, but now you're very clear. I also think that um, that sense of clarity 
is what you will be communicating with this person. Yeah, this, this looks like a soulmate. And I do think you're going to, you're going to, when you communicate, I think you're going to be very clear with your communication. You will be talking about um, the ending of this connection. I can see that. Um, why is the Five of Pentacles here? We have the King of Cups in reverse. You might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. King of Cups reverse and the Death card. Yeah, so there was an ending in this connection for sure. I can see it in two different places. You've had to let this person go. Um, I feel like you, when this connection ended, Sagittarius, you really pulled back. You kind of um, pulled back your emotions. You you basically tried to shut every shut everything out with this person in order to cope with this because I think it puts you in a place where you just felt isolated because this person means a lot to you and I feel like you felt pretty isolated so you, your emotions shut down and I feel like you really um, you really there's a sense of you also feeling abandoned here um, why is the five of cups here Page of Cups. I don't even know why I said Five of Cups. Alright, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers in Reverse. Another Soulmate card. Um, yeah, you're not, you're not on the same page with this person currently. And it may have been that somebody here had a decision between two people. And this person wasn't chosen or you weren't chosen. But I do feel like you may be reaching out to this person because with this Ace of Pentacles, you may be hoping for a new start as well. You want to, you want something stable though. Um, I can see that. So let's look at their energy. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Hold on, one went across the room. I gotta grab that. There we go. All right, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the Four of Wands reversed. Okay, so yeah, you guys have all of the Aces except one. Let's see, you've got the Pentacles, your Wands, Cups. Yeah, you've got them all except one. Interesting. The only one that you don't have right now is the Ace of Swords, and that's all about communication and clarity. So let's see if that pops out. Um, so your person definitely thinks about the physical aspects of your um, connection. They're missing the physical aspects. Um, the Ace of Wands can sometimes be very phallic. It's a very phallic symbol. Um, so they're very, um, very much missing the physical connection. They're, they're also though very just, just passionate about you. I feel like um, things didn't turn out the way they wanted. They pulled back, um, you pulled back, and I do think that they have healed they are going to talk with you. They're going to they're going to let you know that they want this new start. So if you initiate this conversation, I do feel Sagittarius that they will talk with you. They they're going to respond. Um, there may have been some outside forces that involve themselves in this connection as well. And I do think that they they um, they would like to overcome any of these problems. There are still problems though. I'm not gonna lie. I, I still see some problems here that have to be overcome, but I think that your person um, wants to discuss these things. They might be a little bit defensive. 
just so you know. Um, why is the Six of Wands in reverse? King of Wands. Now, that's strong fire energy, so I would have to say that that is yours. They don't feel like um, things were successful with you because there was an imbalance um, in the connection. Things weren't balanced, so they may feel that um, one of you was giving more than the other. Um, but they do think about you a lot. They definitely think about you a lot. And, you know, I feel like... Um, if you do contact them, they will they will respond back. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay. We have the Six of Swords and Temperance in reverse. Yeah, so they want to they want a new beginning. They want to move away from the chaos that has happened. But there's still a um, they're still looking at the imbalance in the connection. So right now they're emotionally imbalanced a little bit, and I do feel like um, in order to move forward, it, there has to be healing. There has to be healing, and there has to be balance put back into the connection. So that is definitely going to be something that is looked at and talked about. It's very important to the person you're connected to um, that that things are balanced here because they there's a sense of things not being balanced and that's what caused it to be unsuccessful. So let's look at the connection. Why is the world here? Something is closing out so something new can begin. Let's see. We have the Eight of Coins reversed and the High Priestess. Okay. So for some of you, like I said, um, there's a distance between the two of you. It may require someone to physically move. Um, so I can see that some of you will actually move be willing to move, willing to relocate, willing to um, quit your job and get a new job. Um, I can see that. Or you may be asking the other person to do that. Um, but for others, what I see is this um, cycle of not working on the connection. And that's where that imbalance would have come from. So if you're recognizing Sagittarius that things kind of fell apart a little bit because you weren't working on things, actively working on things. I do see you putting an end to that. They may have been keeping secrets. I see that ending um, so that the two of you can work things out. Um, I do feel like, um, I feel like you'll work on this connection. I feel like they're, they're trying to be very intuitive, but the way it looks is like you weren't putting the work into the connection and they weren't they were keeping secrets, possibly. Um, let's um, see why the Queen of Cups is here. Because I feel like that Queen of Cups is very important in this reading. The Hermit. <laughs> Sign of Virgo, by the way. Um, and again, the uh, Five of Coins reversed. Yeah, you've done a lot of soul searching about this, Sagittarius. So in this time apart, both of you have pulled away. Um, you've you've done a lot of soul searching here, trying to find the answers, trying to understand the the depth of this connection. I feel like you've really really tried to to understand what it is that is drawing you to this person, and them they're doing the same. They, they would like to um, reconcile. 
they want to reconcile and I do think that that's the conclusion you came up with as well you both have so I, I, I see I see the desire for a reconciliation on both sides um, why is the nine of Pentacles in reverse show me the outcome please Yeah, there will be a decision. You're coming to a point of a decision. But unfortunately, I do see this sense of nostalgia. I see a sense of, you know, wanting to bring this back together. But there's some fears that are now involved in this equation for both of you. So I do think that there has to be a processing of this loss. And you're both feeling it. You're both feeling the loss. You're trying to assess if each of you might be ready to re-enter a commitment. These are decisions that I think neither of you are quite ready to make yet, but you're coming upon it. So both of you are kind of avoiding that decision a little bit. You're moving faster at this point. You have the chariot. So I think you're you're going to determine that you're going to move things forward and you're going to do so quickly and successfully. And they're going to stall this because they have the emperor in reverse. And that tells me that they might become a little bit controlling. Be aware of that. But it also tells me that it's going to lead them to feel like things are a little bit out of control. Um usually people are controlling when they feel that things are out of control they they you know try to gain control by by controlling others which is not the thing to do but i do see people do that a lot um so your person i do feel like they think that things might be a little bit out of control they're going to try to slow it down so my suggestion is sagittarius is to slow you know let this be slowed down a little bit there is a deep emotion underneath this i would allow this to slow down because i i feel like it will stand the test of time if you allow it but the two of you are not going to be quite at the same speed you're going to be on the same track but not quite at the same speed and that's because they're very concerned with balance and they're very concerned with um, healing that still needs to take place. So, at the bottom of the deck, what is that going to lead to? Well, it's going to lead to some anxiety. It's going to lead to some anxiety, maybe some sleepless nights, some worry. So, be aware of that. Um, and just try to Go roll with it, you know? Go with go with the uh, the flow a little bit. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to pull from the um, Fortune Cookie Oracle and see. I'm going to pull one for you and one for them and see if there's any further advice or um, anything else we need to know. Spirit, I'm pulling for Sagittarius and their person. Let's see what we've got. Sagittarius, for you, we have positive work outcomes. So for those of you who have lost a job or quit their job, that's this is good. It says positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. Now, I also want to bring to your attention that um, not working at the connection was part of the equation here. So, positive work outcomes also applies to this connection. Okay? So, that's, that's very positive. That's good. For the cross-watcher person that you're connected with, we have wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person which will allow you to move on. Wow. And that's exactly what your person is doing here, Sagittarius. They are focusing on the past. So... Hopefully they're not going to focus so much on the past that they do lose the future. And I think that's excellent advice to seek advice, um, you know, from an older person or perhaps a spiritual advisor. 
All right, I hope this has been helpful. If you would, like and share this video. Um, if it resonates with you, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to drop a comment, feel free. Until I see you next week in the monthlies, namaste.